Holy crap, how do you say that name? A game by Alex Olink Olinkiewicz. What what nationality is that name? What, what I'm sorry, dude. I don't mean to make fun. No, that's that's cool, man. I don't just interesting names are always fun. Hey guys, how's it going? Whammo here. Welcome to Frostbite Deadly Climate. Free game on Steam. You're more than welcome to check it out. I have yet to do anything with this game, so let's see how this goes. Oh, it uses audio reels for saves, huh? Prologue, my name is Robert, and I'm an arctic biologist who was tracking a polar bear for research until I ended up getting caught in a sudden snowstorm. I'm now lost, and what's worse, the night has begun to fall. Out of sheer luck, I stumbled across a small hut and immediately took shelter in it. However, the hut has no power, and without it, I'll surely freeze to death. I need to figure out how I'm going to escape this predicament. Okay, Robert. Robert, how do we play? That is a... That just vomit on the screen right there. I am going to read all this. Okay, so body temperature is going to be a big thing here, a la long dark, I suppose. However, having a low body temp makes it harder for them to sense you. Them, huh? Oh, good. Let's get into this, then. <laughs> just, fuck it. Throw me right in. Screw it. I just figured it out, right? Uh, oh, boy. Let's see what's going on in here. We have... Is that a map? It is a map. Is it E? Yeah, it is E. Excellent. Oh, it looks like this hut is part of a much larger base close by. I should probably go check it out. Base 75 map. Hmm. Explore the research base. Okay, well, don't hit that button to close the map. Hit Q to close the map. Audio reel, thank you. Is that a pen? No, a paper. Just my luck. Did I walk under a ladder or something? Within just a few days of working at base 75, I ended up breaking my portable tape recorder. Luckily, the base has a spare tape recorder for me to use, but out of bad luck, it turns out to be an old, heavy reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. Interesting. It's bad enough that my place of work is this hut and not a proper observatory, but now if I want to record any of my progress, I will have to make trips to the storage A room. Though honestly, I'd rather do that than writing another one of these notes. I like how recording my progress is a slightly different hue. Thank you, game, for bringing me back to my PlayStation 1 days. That's a heat drink. Everybody loves a good heat drink. This room is oddly cozy. And it's probably very cold. Do I get to turn on... Uh, oh! You can turn on light switches. Huh, that's a neat little feature. That lamp obviously doesn't work. Gun locker? Well, this is a combination? This is the best combination I have ever seen. <laughs> Fuck one, two, three, four, five, whatever. This is lemons, sevens, bells, diamonds, and the bar things you get at casinos for some reason. Hey, check. Nope. I need to find the code. Huh. So I need to know the code to the gun locker. What it happen to be in here? Oh, an oddly smooth... Oh, well, a toggle crouch, but oddly smooth nonetheless. Well, let's get on with this, I suppose. Open sesame? Oh, better close the door if I want to keep the heat in. Well, unfortunately, we are leaving. Wow, absolutely unable to see shit. Okay, I'm going to turn up my game audio. Just a tippy tap. That's probably a bad idea. Audio, audio jump scares get me more than most. Should I go this way? Is this the correct direction? Oh, look, I have a sprint. Well, it's nice of them to leave the snow shovels out. Hopefully, I don't have to shovel this at some point. God, shoveling, am I right? Okay, let's shut this door. Shut this door. What's my what's my temperature look like? Oh, decent. Oh, I didn't even notice the dead guy. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Straight on with it, and I cannot see shit in here. Can I pick that up? Oh. Ah. What happened to you, big buddy? His back has been torn open. Hmm. So it would appear. He is uh thoroughly fucked. Well, let's uh, check out these rooms. Ooh, is there by chance power in here? Guess not. I wish- <laughs> Just choked in my cough drop. I wish I had light switches that went back to down when there was no power. This is like a breaker or something. Mm, magnetic. How does it work? Oh, radio room. This is inviting. It's 3.30, whatever. 2 in the afternoon, I suppose. Uh, radio report log. Okay. During one of our routine runs, we found an undiscovered type of organism under the ice. Oh, that doesn't bode well. We'd like to mention that despite being frozen, the organism still showed signs of life due to this rare phenomenon. Phenomena. Some of the staff have requested they can take this opportunity for more study. After much debate and compromises, HQ has granted us permission to study the organism. But we have only until 9 2. 9 2, our, what is that? Uh, dates are hard. They'll have someone pick up the organism during our next scheduled shipment of supplies. Interesting. Hmm. 8-9, HQ has reported to us that they might be expecting some heavy snowstorms within the next couple of days, so they'll be expecting we might not be able to make some routine resupplies anytime soon. Gonna spark notes that last little bit. Oh, well, we just still don't have power. 
Until we regain communications with our radio thingy, we'll write this crap down from now on because it's annoying. Our radio's broke as shit and you need to fix a generator. Or use it sparingly. What's in the kitchen? Huh. A very flimsy locked door. Fantastic. Office? Also locked. Great. There's stor- Storage A. I can save my game in there if I need to. Let's check- Damn it. Locked again. Foiled again! Everything here is freezy. I can't stay in here too long. Maybe I can find a vehicle in garage. Okay. Well, let's check storage A first. There's the toy recorder, chirp, chirp recorder, and one of those vacuum cleaners that you pull along behind you. I <laughs> can super troopers? No, super troopers? Yeah. Scary movie. Scary movie when Dewey's using it to. Ah, uh, never mind. Watch scary movie. What's in the storage locker? Nothing. Well, I mean, I've got stuff. That's not the button I wanted. Uh, that. How do I? Why do you, oh, right click. Interesting. Do I have a three? How do I use my axe? I don't want to use my heat drink because that's a bad idea. Oh. What did I just do? Did something. There's an axe. Oh. Probably a good idea to have a weapon out, huh? There's a health drink. Alright. No idea how to use that crap. Toiletries. Various other useless things. Fantastic. Still no lights. Let's save the game. Okay. There it's saved. I'm starting to shiver. I've noticed. That's, that's definitely never, ever a good thing. Okay, well, oh, well, is the hallway blocked? Why was there a question mark at the end of that? It is pretty heavily blocked. It's got one of those big ass 20 pound, 20 pound, 50 pound TVs on it. Lab A locked. Recreation. Huh. Place a game of ping pong or pool, billiards, whatever. That'll work too. Coffee stains on the table. Not a very well kept up place. Interesting. Hey, cryostasis. Hmm. Is this game modeled after a gather another game called cryostasis? What the fuck is that? A lock pick? Interesting place for a lock pick. Lock, lock pick in a dartboard. Take one of these pool sticks as a weapon? Nope. There's a, uh, what is that? Energy drink. Okay. Interesting. It's still 332. Okay. Nothing else of use in here. There is a picture of a tape recorder on the wall. I really like the tape recorders. I don't know why I keep trying lights. I want the lights to be on though. Let's go ahead and close that door. Hello? Is anyone else present? I imagine we're going to get a scare here soon. I saw that billboard to my right. Don't worry, we'll come back to that. Never mind, we'll do that right now. Don't like creepy bathrooms. Notification board, all right. Oh, somebody stole a screwdriver. No rush, but I'd really like you to give it back to me. Cool. Murphy, I found your key in the bathroom again. Oh, Murphy leaves his keys in the bathroom. Stop doing that, Murphy, you idiot. The staff members of Base 75. We understand that having to share a bedroom with another member as well as a co-ed bathroom does remove a level of privacy you were probably used to. While it's impossible under the circumstances to give you more privacy, we have provided a set of lockers. Any personal items that you are uncomfortable leaving in your cooperative bedroom can be placed in these lockers for safekeeping. Take note that you'll be provided with a padlock and a key for your locker, but you'll not be provided with any spares, so be sure not to lose your locker key. Cheap-ass padlocks, you can lockpick them with a little effort. I assume that's like scribbled on the side or something like that. Interesting. Uh, okay. That's a banana telling an apple that see apples bruise too. I don't... That joke is lost on me. I don't get it. Oh, good. So, do we get to pick which lock we pick? I am slowly freezing to death. Let's see if we can find Murphy's key in the bathroom. Uh, there's some toothpaste. Do I need to brush my teeth? No, probably not. Oh, good. Good, this is exactly what I wanted to see. Hey, they got two showers. That's fancy. Oh, nothing of use. Something's gonna be in one of these stalls. Something in here. Something's gonna be in one of these stalls. Probably this one, huh? So, I'm locked in here. <laughs> We're fine. There's nothing in here. What the fuck are you guys worried about? Scaring me like that. What's wrong with you? Still yet to see anything exciting. Well, room A is locked. Room D? Everybody wants the D. Of course, room D is open. Lots of shoes everywhere. Huh? Why does that always scare me? What? Spicy sauce? Why the hell do I want spicy sauce? Can I use that to make myself warm? By... Drinking some spice? I'm not sure if that was in my house or if that was in the game, but it was scary. It was very scary. Is there anything else in here? Huh? I keep it- something is gonna pop out. Uh... Frost is already forming on the jacket. Yeah, what? Put the fucking jacket on! For <laughs> Stop swearing, Wemo. Put the jacket on! I mean, you're freezing to death. Why not- why not wear the jacket? Doesn't that make- does that make sense to any- I'm gonna leave that open. Does that make sense to anybody else? You're, you're freezing? You find- You find a jacket, you put on the jacket. Okay, this is the end of the hallway. Right? Doesn't that make sense? Uh, an ID card? Ethan! Nice picture, Ethan. That's Tinder profile right there, baby. That's fucking hot AF. There's gonna be something in one of these friggin' closets. I know there is. Can you open that? 
Cannot. Another one of those fancy red jackets. <laughs> what the fuck? Why does somebody have a revolver in their locker? What's that? What is that? There's like crumpled up post-it notes down there. Oh. Spacebar opens the inventory. Hmm. Standard revolver holds six bullets. Good to know. One use only on the lockpick. Why did I assume that the lockpick only had one use? I just assumed that. And it's just games teach you that, I suppose. God, that scared me. Why did it scare me? Like, expecting something to happen. I don't think I want to go outside. Uh, so which... Fuck. Which locker do I open? I mean, that's the question, right? I obviously have to open a locker, but which one do I open? Don't tell me this is just a guessing game, or is it just hap- Okay, okay, hold on, wait, wait, wait. We need to use... Use... Heat drink. Use it. Does that restore some of my heat? Uh, boy did it. Holy crap, that warmed me right up. Okay, so the spicy sauce can be combined with a chem fluid. Fuck. RE style. To make a heat drink. Cannot be used on its own. That warmed me... All the way back up. Wow, my screen is so much better now. This is so much better with the lights that I can see stuff. So do I want to use my lockpick now? Or do I want to go back outside and say hello to other peoples? Uh, these are both locked, right? Hmm. Interesting. I have a gun now, so I mean... Can't be too bad. Yeah, let's go back outside. Yeah, fuck it. Let's see what else is going on in this place. I, I might be able to gain access to another one of these rooms, and there might be a room that I'm required to gain access to, but let's see if we can find the generator first. Well, fuck me, right? Uh... Okay, well, let's follow the lights and see if there's a Jenny somewhere over here. Maybe, perhaps, we can get power up. You can't strafe while you're sprinting, I will note. And... Okay, well, there's another building here. Ah. Is this the generator? Indeed it is. Shut that door, please. Thank you. Alright, so... Is there anything stupid going on here? This looks complicated. Do I have lights in the generator room? I do not. Can I just turn it on? Is this a simple, gonna be turned on? I guess I start hitting buttons. It needs a fuse, electric cable, and some motor oil. Doesn't appear I can do anything with this yet. Hmm. Fascinating. Well, let's go open up some lockers. Let's shut this door. Maybe it'll keep it warmer in there or something. I... I don't know, man. There's another building here. Is there any way to get into this building? Nope, sure isn't. Alright, well, following the lights back to the other building, I suppose. Hopefully nothing scary attacks me. Are you guys... As freaked out as I am, what's on this side of the building? Oh, there's another way around. Oh, why did that scare me? Why did the icicle scare me? Can I break this? Uh, no. I cannot break it. Ice is so packed it would take hours to break it. Hours! Literally hours to break that much ice. You have an axe. An axe would easily br break that much ice. I thought that was a person standing in there. Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. Suspension of disbelief ruined. You've ruined it for me, game. Well, fudge muckers. Okay, shut this door. Uh, we getting in some inside heat? We are not. So, let's go use a lockpick, I suppose. Um, I'm gonna pick at random. I may have gotten a clue at some point. Did I shut all these? I don't think I shut all these. Alright, you wanna play, motherfucker. Huh! <laughs> no. Huh! <laughs> no. I'm gonna look in these a little more thoroughly than I did last time. Let's see here. Oh, fantastic. There's another lockpick. Why the fuck is there a lockpick in the toilet? Is there gonna be a head in one of these? Huh! <laughs> Or an organism of some unknown nature, freezing his little pants off. Nope, nothing... Nothing else of note in there. I'm starting to get a little bit freaked out now. There's nothing has happened. Uh, what's that? What's that? Another spicy sauce. Ah, see. This is what I get for actually looking around the place and exploring. <laughs> God damn it, Whammo. You are terrible at video games. That is room E, is what that key goes to. And I may have just triggered an event, so... Let's listen. Shall we? Uh, I think the rooms are further down the hall to my left. I just wanted to look. Okay, I think we're good for the moment. Nothing. There's A. That's D. E is right there. There's B. Do you auto-use the key? You did. You did. <laughs> it scared me. Uh, oh, fancy room you got here. Is this a uh, laboratory A key? All right, well, we're getting there. We are getting there. 20, if, if anyone finds this note, and I didn't make it out of this, I want you to know that I didn't go down without a fight. We discovered a parasitic organism under the ice and brought it back to our base for studying. However, despite our best efforts to contain it, the organism somehow was able to infect most of the staff, turning them into monsters. It's fucking direct, I suppose. I can't tell you much about these things, other than that they appear to lack much intelligence and they can sense your body temperature. They can't hear you, see you, but the warmer you are, the easier it is for them to detect you. 
even if you're in another room. So, if you want to be invisible to these things, you better take the risk of hypothermia. Thank you, Nigel Carpenter. You have been extremely helpful. Now that I've read this, I know what the monsters are, which means the monsters can attack me and it's fair. Shit. Huh! Huh! I have an axe! Nothing. Well, we got the lab room A key. I'm waiting for a trigger event to happen here. What's that? Oh, it's Nigel. Hi, Nigel! You are the chief scientist. ID number 516. Room E. Fucking wrong button. Interesting. Monster? Huh! No, no monster. No monster. Uh, yep, yeah, Frost is already forming on the jacket. Alright, well, you guys ready to get scared? I am. Let's do this. Huh. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. We good. We good. Gonna shut the D. Nobody wants the D room open right now. Shut this too. I'm gonna be listening a little more attentively. Is that guy still alive? Slightly concerning that he might be. I also note that I am losing health because I am not warm. Uh, let's... Well, I don't have any chem fluid to make myself wa fuck warm, so I need to get to Laboratory A, which is right there. No. No. Recreation goes closed. Oh, good. Here we go. Well, I need to get some heat because I am dying rapidly. Rapidly dying. More bullets. That's never good. Uh, hold on. I'll read that note in a second. Give me... Give me some heat. Heat? Heat. Well, there's more spicy sauce. Give me a chem fluid. Chem fluid? Chem fl Fuck. Chem fluid? Very, uh, stingy on the spices. Oh, shit. Okay. Come on. Get another heat drink. Gonna die. No, 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 no! <laughs> I'll get back to there. Somehow missed this note before, probably because I'm an unattentive asshole. James, that idiot! I always thought James was a caring and smart lad, but I guess he <laughs> once the shit hit the fan, his true intelligence and selfishness, selfishness was revealed. After our meeting about either a possible evacuation or quarantine, James decided every man for himself. He took both keys to the snowcats and tried to use one of them to escape. Of course, he needed to bring back power to the garage doors, so he brought power to all sections of the base, leading to the generator to overheat. That was- I butchered the shit out of that. Luckily, the power cable burnt out and the fuse blew before the generator could. Karma got to him, however, and he crashed the snowcat just a few feet from the base while the garage door was closed, so he got locked out. As of now, he hasn't made his way back to the base, so either he's terrified to confront us, or the worst has happened to him. Whatever the case, if we want to use the snowcat to escape, we must retrieve those keys. Hmm. So that's what happened to the generator. Somebody got selfish and tried to escape. Here we are, back into the lab. That's the wrong button, whammo. Back into the lab. Hey, we're not dying this time. Fantastic. Let's pick these bullets up. Hey, a polar bear. Hi, cutie. Polar bears are vicious, BT dubs. Fucking vicious. They will kill you and not care at all about it. Same with seals. <laughs> polar bears and seals, both extremely vi vicious animals. Did I see something out there or am I going bad shit? No, it was that. It was a texture clipping texture text texture you're clipping through the window. Fantastic. There are a lot of cabinets in here. What is this? Research of the organisms has shown both fascinating and unnerving results. And therefore, we are currently giving the organism the code name C-34, or for what the rest of staff likes to call it, the Ice Devil. Hmm. Cute. One noticeable thing suggests that this organism has odd behavior towards heat. When we introduce it to some living thing, some living tissue samples, the organism lacked interest in them until the samples began to get closer to room temperature. Once that happened, the organism latched onto the sample and began to alter its temperature to become cold. This seemed to suggest that the organism needs to be cold to survive and will change the organism that it infects to fit its needs. We can conclude that C-34 shares certain similarities to a parasite such as requiring the host to be alive. When we attempted to kill off a sample, a reaction occurred wherein both the sample and the organism began to rapidly dissolve away. Ooh, <laughs> convenient. We were lucky enough to collect some of what remained before it completely dissolved and gave it to Susan and Lab B to examine. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Is this is this math equation useful at all? Can I equation my way out of this? All right. Well, let's open some cabinets, shall we? Is there going to be a raccoon that jumps out of one of these? A filthy trash panda? Any raccoons? Any raccoons? Raccoon. Looking for that raccoon. Expecting a raccoon. Is there going to be a raccoon? Raccoon. I'm going to turn around. There's going to be something right behind me. Nope, sure isn't. But I'm going to shut that fucking door just in case. Because, uh, yeah, paranoid. Raccoon? Nope. I'm just going to keep expect. Expecting raccoons. Is that a chem fluid? Sure is. <laughs> R.E.B. damned. Uh, raccoon? No, 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 fucking... I have a feeling that these cabinets are very lacking in native raccoons. You know, in the frozen tundra, so... I, I guess you wouldn't call them raccoons, you would call them small polar bears. Well... That was uneventful. 
However, we have this. We need to go to the garage. We are currently where? In Laboratory A. So we can use Laboratory A to go around the roadblock or the hallway block. Hope like hell there's not a monster here. We need to use this heat drink, actually. Where is it at? That. Ah, saved it. Uh, let's combine chem fluid and... <gasps> chem fluid and spicy sauce. Chem fluid. There we go. There's another heat drink. Okay. That combining system is weird. Why would it be locked? I thought it was opening. I haven't been this way yet. Oh, good. Oh, good. You hear that? Fuck! What the fuck? <laughs> okay. I don't know what I expected. Can I have this, please? Nice. Nice. I had to reload the gun. Excuse me, freezing monster thing. I had to reload my weapon. Can I aim? I cannot aim. So let's just go ahead and go. Bang. Bang. Okay. Bullets are ineffectual. Zero effect on target. Oh, never mind. We crumpled him. We're... We're good. We got it. I've only got two bullets left, so it took, what, four to kill him? Okay. Good to know. Also good to know that I have to hit spacebar to equip something, then have to hit spacebar again to put the menu away. Awesome. I don't have a jump either. Shit. Let's see some of that dissolved sample. Fuck. Guess not. Infirmary? Oh, what happened to you? I want to call you Susan. I don't know why. It's just a name that popped into my head. Hello? Nobody's in here. Oh, what happened, honey? Oh my goodness. You got messed up, girl. Was she the first victim? I don't know. Wouldn't she become a monster? Uh, Ashley is her name. She's a doctor. Fascinating. Ashley, I'm going to shut this door real quick. Clicky there. Glad I did. Give me that. Any raccoons? Raccoon. Oh, look at there. Some, uh, some sweet spice. Why would it be sweet? Oh, whatever. Fuck it. Health drink? Alright. We are, uh, rolling in supplies now, actually. Oh, there's... Are those, like, rifle... Oh, my God. Big ammo. Oh, I didn't expect to see... Actually, I didn't expect to see any guns in this game, so I'm pleasantly surprised by that. Didn't think it'd be a shooter. Alright, well... We have thoroughly perused the room. What does the medical report say? Medical report. Despite Simon not being exposed to cold weather, he is somehow suffering from severe hypothermia. Within mere hours, Simon's body temperature went from 37C to 24C. I'm glad they put Fahrenheit in there for us weird American bastards. This shouldn't be possible. Some of the known symptoms of hypothermia appear to be absent. Simon has not lost any consciousness, muscle coordination, or energy. Yet, other symptoms like skin turning blue, weak pulse and breathing, sluggish thinking, etc. are still present. Also, Simon's behavior has become uncontrollable and he's begun to perform paradoxically undressing <laughs> and with him still retaining his energy and muscle coordination it has become very difficult to prevent him from removing his clothing so uh simon got naked um i i feel like he could change a few words around in that report and this would look like a very different situation <laughs> just saying all right where are we at here uh, we are in the infirmary. Okie dokie, the garage is right there. I don't like that there's a dog kennel right there. That's not cool. Yeah. Thankfully, the monsters seem to have very loud footsteps. Which is good, considering I'm yabbering on this entire time. Well, locked. Maybe there's another way inside. Yes, I imagine through the exterior. Lab beep. Well, locked as well from this side. I don't want to... Why do I have to go in the dog kennel? Oop, storage B is open. Is there going to be a tape recorder in here? No, but there's a fucking rifle. Straight up hunting rifle. Okay, well, let's not touch that for the time being. What's that? Arcade machine manual. Why is that in here? They really like to push the arcade machine, don't they? That noise! That might be a callback. Shotgun ammo! That might be a callback to something that they had to do with. I apparently am out of inventory space, so let's go ahead and use... Fuck, I don't know. I'm fine. I don't need to use anything. I guess I, could, I guess I can run back and use the lock picks. Ammo doesn't seem to take up inventory space. I'm gonna run back and- Damn it. Run back and use the lock picks real quick on random lockers. There we are. A4, what do you contain? Revolver ammo and hate drink. Okay, I was hoping for not something like that. Uh, let's go ahead and use another one. Let's use it on that. Oh, I guess I'm using it on A5. Fuck it. Chem fluid and shotgun ammo. Fantastic. So let's- Mix spicy sauce with chem fluid. There, we got two, three heat drinks now. Fantastic. We're looking pretty good, kids. Looking pretty darn good with our heated drinks. Do I have to go in the dog kennel? I don't want to go in the dog kennel. Eh. So, let's pick up our hunting rifle, some ammunition. This ca- fuck. Still full on inventory space, huh? Well, let's go ahead and use a heat drink then, huh? Yeah, may as well. Caffeinated saw bice. 
Oh, fuck, there's another one down there. That's a uh, chem fluid, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, can I drop stuff? Does that work? You know what? Let's just remember that there's a chem fluid in here. And carry on. Ooh, actually, I'm out of time, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Uh, interesting game. You only seen one monster. I'm gonna keep going with this. I don't know. Looks a bit... Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever. Thanks for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.